itself. It's hard for me to talk like a model. Well, I've always got to sit in funny positions that I wouldn't go in naturally. <laughs> For half an hour or something. Oh, you've never sat for half an hour in your life. Never. Oh, yeah. I've he, done it with him. He's quite un actually. He he works terribly hard without a model because we're all very restless models. We're not yeah. tolerant models at all. It's a shame, really. Brother, you, you're you're going through the the, the the academic disciplines of going through an art college. What, what do you feel about the paintings? An analysis of your father's work. I can see them little beyond the decorative. You know, I think they are incredibly decorative. I, I, I like them greatly as decorative pieces. I, and in, in that sense, I thoroughly approve of them. Uh, yes, I, I like them a lot. No, but as, no, I think it's, I tend to, I don't read anything deep into them. It's very, a very superficial uh, liking I have of them, I think. I like the colours, the pattern, and so on. The fact that so much of uh, Norman's painting has to be done outside of his teaching hours, must impose its own problems in the, in the household. Yes, we don't, we have virtually no weekends. And uh, we have, once I remember going for a job, actually it was in Collins, that, a long, long time ago after I was a student, and I remember looking at a notice that said you got two weeks holiday at the fair. And I thought, well, to places with that. and and. That was that. I, I just couldn't have thought of this. In fact, we, this is exactly what we have. It's two weeks holiday every summer because he uh, works the rest of the time. It just doesn't arise for us to go away longer than that. He does, he's not an artist who sketches on the spot much. and He does a little sketching more away. But uh, he works at home in the conditions you see. He's, he seems to need um, certain sizes to work on and certain conditions to work in. And uh, so that we get this fortnight a year, and that's about our lot. I think it's Bacon who says, he who has a wife and children has given hostages to fortune. It wasn't very flattering or confidence building for a young wife. And, but I feel he has matured and come to terms with all this, and that actually the children are very important to the painting. They're always important to the man. I'm not, you know, we're talking in two different mm. things at the moment. But now I think he even regards the family as a sort of asset that keeps his feet on the ground and, and um, it, keeps him in touch with life. It, it's, really. it's my luxury. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether he thought it was worth it at the beginning, but he does now. Um, to some extent, we were a lot harder up then, so that it made life ten times as difficult. This is, I hate, I don't think a lot of money matters, but I think if you haven't enough so that it's almost your whole consuming thought in life, then it really is murder. And um, when he let, first left art school with nothing, it, by Jove, this was the truth, you know. We had two small children and it was very hard. Now it's not, now it's nice. It, uh, we can talk warmly of the whole thing. <laughs> if, if this interview had been done 18 years ago, I don't know that I would be sitting so mellow. <laughs>
Norman, you've, you've said somewhere that you chose painting because it was something that would last you a lifetime. What exactly did you mean by that? I meant that even when I was at school, I was never happier than when I, I had a picture on the go. Um, I think that really the, the calm and peace that I have when I'm painting my pictures this is partly why I do it. I don't like running about. I, 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 it's almost like being in a religious order, maybe, or being a, a, an academic that spends all his time in a library. I, I, I envy these people in a way because perhaps I really can't cope with life, you know, and. Um, but I, I really wanted something that would last me a lifetime. I wanted an interest that I could go on building on, and I, I think that painting has provided it. How did you react to the Glasgow School of Art telling you that you were virtually unteachable? This is, this is, this is absolutely right. My, my reactions were, bugger you. Um, but it isn't as simple as that. Um, I, I think that on one level, the, the emotional effort involved in me in going over the whole thing is out of all proportion to its importance. But if you want me to explain what happened, I can do that. I, I certainly don't think it's a matter of right and wrong. I, you know, Joan of Arc, I think, was right, and look what happened to her. Um, You've got the Scottish tradition. I take a delight in pattern, not in the, the sensuous qualities of paint. This could be one reason why it came about. But I, I really regarded my time as an art school perfectly seriously as the opportunity to lay a foundation that I could build on for the rest of my life. And from this point of view, I think I was right. And I, I've stuck to it. Why are you so, so deeply interested in, in creating patterns in paint? And what are you trying to achieve by this? Well, I, I can only talk about my pictures in, in the form of anecdotes. I, I can't come near to explaining them anymore. I don't think that if Rembrandt showed me around his, an exhibition of his, he, he could do any more than tell me that this was his son at a certain age. I don't think he really knew what he was doing. Uh, I, I've, I, I always hope that really the pictures talk for themselves and anything that I have to say is light-hearted by comparison. The, the, the pictures are what matters, not what I say. And I, I, you know, I, I can explain that if there's a space between figures and I want to establish it as a surface, one way of doing it is drawing patterns. If I want to make a figure sculptural, I, I can do this by making the, the patterns follow the shape of the figure. Um, but the, the leaves even, there's one picture that I did, it used to be up there, where the, the, a whole lot of pink leaves in the foreground. And I saw this after I'd done it, but it looks like a pony that's kicking his heels up in the air. Uh, and these leaves are arranged in this, but I think that surely the, the patterns can be either gay or serious or all sorts of things. What's your, your attitude to criticism? Okay, I read it and I take an interest in it, but it certainly doesn't affect me. I hate people that really want me to produce their pictures. I always regard them as my pictures. 